doesn't get involved in politics, doesn't fix sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not at all. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. They are. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loot. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses them. I want to know more about the specters. They're not your typical diplomats. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide who becomes a specter? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Specters aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. Then gone. Things are still up in the air. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got into it. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. I guess it would have looked bad if he could fight. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Burge and Attica Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their sound. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar map, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to define it. Once we get a seat on it, we'll be able to influence those rulings. Protect our own interests. No more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his geth. Problem solved. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago. I was part of a mission in the Skillian Bridge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target. A lot of people died along the way in a 
Yes. And the official records just covered it all up. And I saw how he operated. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end the war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works now. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Okay, so that was a really long conversation, but I couldn't really skip it because he was telling you a bunch of stuff that actually is very useful to know about Saren, CSEC, uh... Okay, so yeah, I was right. This is what I was looking for. Why? Why does my game feel laggy? interested in the keepers. Keepers? I've got no interest in the keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh, I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it would hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings from the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it? Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going now. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with scanning. So this is what I was talking about. This is uh, by far the worst like side quest in the game, because I I think the total number of keepers is twenty six, and it's and there's like two or three in each area of the citadel, and the my game feels like really laggy um and the one that I went to at the embassy the one that I tried to talk to it that one is extremely glitchy and if you fast travel it usually glitches out at least on the Xbox version Xbox 360 version I don't know if the same is true for um the PC so I guess we're gonna find out but yeah, basically just, uh, it glitches out every time you fast travels, and you kind of have to keep track and know if you've already, if you've already done it or not, because if you haven't scanned it, then you have to like reload your game in order to get it, and it's just a pain, and then the fact that there's so many of them, I know that there's another one over here. Thankfully, I've done this so many times that I remember where most of them are. Um, yeah. But I'm not going to be fast traveling. Wait, wasn't there one more? No, I think that's it. Uh, I'm not going to be fast traveling. Uh, I'm going to head straight to the embassy to try and get that one done. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's inventory.
do I uh decent amount of hair done. I'm getting close to leveling up. I want to start leveling up my sniper rifle before I uh, enter combat again so that I can use it effectively. Uh, this was basically... So this is considered the worst part of the game. Instead of a normal loading screen, they have this really long ass elevator ride. Um, and eventually the characters do run out of dialogue depending on where you're at in the game and what you've done. So there's that too. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, the Hanar. Um, I'm. I'm hesitant to talk to it because the conversation can go multiple ways. Uh, so let me quick save real quick. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I'm not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have heard you stubborn jelly all afternoon. You Do you desire to learn of the Inkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Inkindlers? The truth of the Inkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Basically, if you go, um... If you talk to him first before doing like some of the side stuff, um, you'll end up uh, you'll end up not having enough Paragon points, which uh, just delays everything. So, yeah. Alright. Now I'm just kind of working my way across and dealing with all those. So, uh... There's not one down there, is there? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so.
basically I want to do all the side stuff first because some of it does disappear before uh, what's it called some of, some of the side stuff disappears when you leave the citadel so if you do everything first you get a few levels get a little bit of money and in general just you're better off uh, I already talked to you, not already going to talk to you again. So yeah. And you'll see what I mean uh, when I get to the other end of the assem uh, assembly? No, embassy. Uh, if the Hanar, or not the Hanar, if the Keeper uh, is gone. So, yeah. I don't want to talk to uh, them just yet because that starts the uh, la see what I mean alright so this is what I'm gonna do this real quick see what I mean okay so I'm not gonna talk to uh, Anderson uh, just yet because that starts like the very last side quest you do before you leave like the what's it called uh, before you leave the citadel so because of that um, yeah because of that I'm not gonna talk to them talk to them last especially since uh, it won't take that long Like I said, long ass elevator rides. Exactly, use that just yet. Okay, wait, no. I don't need to go over there just yet. sworn that one of the, you can, uh, that's not. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. 
Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around. But you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Oh, well, he wanted to meet with me down in the ward. His name's Shorman. Shorman? The Keepers? Well, even more reason to I better look into this right away. Well... So, this is hands down, or for me, uh, one of the like hardest parts of the game on veteran difficulty, and uh, you'll see why. Um, yeah, you'll see why. How many keepers do I have left? I didn't get them all. Uh, I want to get them all before I talk to him. Let me go back up and talk to him. Or no, let me go back up and get the other key. Oh shit, I forgot. There's one keeper all the way at the end of the docking bay, which really sucks because you have to ride the elevator up and then back down. Basically, um, it just makes it like it, it's it's what you call fluff. It uh it fills the game with unneeded uh content, um, which is most common in RPG games. So you'll see like hundred hour RPG games where 50 hours of it is fetch quest, where go here, get this item, come back. And uh, those RPGs aren't that popular anymore because people don't like fetch quest. Um, that's why like games like Witcher 3 and Fallout 4, they had, to, they had to change the way that the quests are worded and how they feel so that they aren't, they aren't just regular fetch quests. Um, huh, what? That's the Normandy, by the way. SR1. Now I get to go back down and then go back up to the Presidium and get the rest of the keepers. Uh, so, Williams, you happy to sign on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. Gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot of life. So anyways, wait, I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, now I gotta go back up to the Presidium to find the rest of the uh, Keepers. That way I can try and scan them all before I talk to uh, Torben. But yeah, you see how long this is? And it, it's pretty much just as long on uh, uh, Xbox 360. So the game probably wasn't optimized that well. Like, just a straight port. I think I'll have most of the keepers. Uh, wait, that's the embassies over there, got them all over there, got them all, yeah. And then this one is like hidden. Sneaky Bioware, sneaky. And then of course the one back here. Um, oh wait, now I know why that, oh, I feel dumb. I was supposed to talk to Barla Vaughn again, uh, but I didn't. I feel dumb now. Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do 
you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. He used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Saren's turned on a lot of people lately. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. What a bargain, considering the price. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Thanks for the info. My pleasure. Okay, so that was me being dumb and not, uh, basically not making sure that my time was well spent. Uh, that's the keep, that's the Citadel Tower, correct? Yep, because the hand. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that was me uh, wasting my time pretty much. Because uh, if I did it correctly, I would only have to go down to C Second Academy once, and that would get the Krogan to spawn. So, yeah, that was bad on my part. Yeah, see? That was my bad. My bad. Witnesses saw you making threats at Fist's bar. Stay away from you. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill you. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, you. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barla Vaughn said to talk to you. Barlevon is a wise man. I'm not sure I can fool him. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Coral's dead. A man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What'd he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A quarian showed up here on the Citadel. He was on the run. He wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she would desist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fisk a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. The Council will have to listen to us. Shit. Okay, so... I may have messed up. Yeah, I may have messed up. Um, so I thought that by going to the embassy and talking to Anderson, it would bring up the Corian. Uh, I completely forgot who brought it up. Uh, Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You helped me kill Fist. She's all here. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down, too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. He said he was going to follow up a lead in his investigation. He wanted to speak to the doctor from the med clinic. Move out. Maybe not. Okay, so... This is basically the squad.